Hi, I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm down in my bike shop, my new bike shop, and I've got my recumbent trike here, my DIY recumbent trike, and I had to do some work, some maintenance, on the chain idler. So I want to make a video and show you about the chain idler. So let's get going. It's kind of interesting. Okay, this is my recumbent trike uh, laid up on its side so you can see the chain idler. Now, there's two of these because uh, they both have to be on the bottom to keep downward tension on the chain to keep it tight. So that means one goes forward and the other one goes backwards. This one is the return. This is the one where the chain after it goes over the crank set comes back and there's no tension on that. So this is just a PVC idler with a hole drilled in it, no bearings in it. There's almost no tension on it. Uh, it's, you can use almost anything. Now on the other hand, this bottom one is uh, the one that goes up. So when you stand on it, this is the one that you're pulling on. And it has a lot of tension on it. Uh, so, there's two ways you can go on this with this. This one has, and I don't know whether you can see it or not. Probably not. This one has, in here, has a sprocket in it. And the reason why there's a sprocket in it is this chain is a series of flat spots. And if you don't have a sprocket in there, if you just have a groove, when, when the chain flat spots go over the groove, uh, you'll get flat spot and then a flexible point flat spot and you'll get a vibration. You'll hear every link on the chain go over it. Now some people put a piece of, uh, or some companies that make them put a piece of rubber in there to absorb that unevenness but that tends to wear out and that is the high tension pulley so that's not in my opinion that good an idea. The really good ones have a sprocket uh, in here that the chain runs right on all the time keeps it up off of the pulley and it runs uh, just like the sprocket up front and it's completely quiet but uh, they're a little more expensive okay now that you've seen that you have some understanding of what I'm talking about now I'll tell you as Paul Harvey would, would say the rest of the story when I built that I built that all by hand on the lathe the bearings that I used or were the bearings I had. I didn't want to buy a set of bearings. There weren't really, wasn't really any place to walk in and buy the correct bearings. So I found some small bearings out of a roller blade, I believe. Rollers from a roller blade. And I took those bearings out. They weren't real high quality. They were okay. They were a little worn. I put them in. Well, the other day it started making a noise. So... I tried to oil in that and it worked for a while, but it just didn't sound quite right. So this morning, I took the nut off and took both pulleys off. And the inside bearing on the inner pulley, the ones with all the strain on them, the balls and the races and everything just fell out on the ground. Gone. Just wore them out. A few thousand miles, gone. So, I had a push scooter thing, you know, you put one foot on, kick with the other foot. see kids with them every now and then. I had one of those I got from uh, the dump and I went up and took the front wheel off and cut the front wheel in half and cut right down to the edge of the bearings and took a wood chisel and got in and popped the bearings out. Took a mic, mic them, they were exactly the same size and they were fairly high quality, fairly new sealed bearings real tight. So I put those, press those into that, put it all back together. Life is good, works great now, and didn't cost me anything. And that's my DIY story on uh, recumbent trike uh, chain idlers. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.